loathsome forms of parasitic life on this miserable ball of death we currently inhabit. Perhaps no single phylum is quite as awash with a disproportionate quantity of drooling fucking imbeciles as that of Sony fanboys. Now, fanboys of all types are almost without exception grating, obsequious, shrieking sacks of involuntary virginity. But... For the reasons I'll soon itemize, Sony fanboys stand head and neckbeard above the rank and file through the sheer vociferous devotion they pledge to a company that is actively formulating new and inventive methods of fucking them up the ass. Let's establish one simple fact right off the bat. No corporation on this planet deserves the level of frenzied fanaticism that Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo seem to command for the obese sea creatures between the ages of ten and ten and a half that they seem to attract. But Sony's fanboys make the Heaven's Gate cult sound like level-headed skeptics. And believe me, if Kevin Butler issued the command tonight, every Sony fanboy in the Western and Eastern Hemispheres would happily swill from the punch bowl to be with Jesus in the fucking spaceship before the commercial ended. The PS2 era, for me, is where it all hit the fan. After the first price drop in 2002, I bought my first ever Sony video game console. For the record, I was really excited about it, too. I actually purchased it in tandem with a couple PS1 classics that I hadn't had an opportunity to play yet. And I bought a shiny new copy of Deus Ex the Conspiracy. I mean, sure, I bridled at the price of a memory card, which at the time was between 30 and 40 fucking dollars brand new, but I figured it'd be the only one I'd ever have to purchase, so I swallowed my common sense and boarded the Sony bandwagon, completely unaware the ultimate destination were the fathomless depths of Shovelware Canyon. Then I made the mistake of looking at the front of the memory card. This son of a bitch only held eight fucking megabytes of information. Megabytes. Now, this isn't that fucking long ago, folks. This is 2002. I had friends walking around with 200 megabyte USB flash drives for all the 15 goddamn dollars back then. And you're going to sell me an eight megabyte memory card for more than twice that price? at a time when the original Xbox has a built-in hard drive for the exact same price. And as we've learned with the advent of the upcoming Vita, more specifically its memory cards that fall roughly in the gross domestic product of South Africa price range, Sony is still pulling this bullshit to this very day. And the fanboys are still defending their profligate escapades while they're being happily nickel and dime straight into the welfare line. Well, Let's see, it's 2001, the Nintendo 64 came out six years ago, and it had four built-in controller slots. Should, should we put four controller slots on this piece of shit, or should we charge 40 bucks for a fucking multi-tap? And you shrinking fucking imbeciles actually bought them! And some of you will go to your pauper's grave still convinced the PS2 was the best machine on the fucking planet! And that's another thing that blows me away about Sony fanboys in particular. During the last console generation, when PS2s were selling like television sets, but the console hardware itself was seated squarely at dick last behind the GameCube and the Xbox, and hell, even the, uh, the Dreamcast, which preceded it in some categories, Sony fanboys were saying things like, Who cares if graphics aren't that good and the memory's pitiful? It's got fun games! Games and fun are all that matters. But now the PS3 is allegedly a technical behemoth. Suddenly it's all about graphics and hardware, and Nintendo Wiis are just children's toys. Well, if the Nintendo Wii is a children's toy, then what in the fuck does that make the, the outdated slab of plastic you were rocking in 2003 a fucking fetus toy? They've completely flip-flopped their positions to better fall in line with Sony's absurd promulgative bullshit. I hate Nintendros. I detest Xbox, but Sony fanboys can choke on my dick until I feel a draft. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed.